2007 Nashville Regional Final. Top ranked Vandy throwing ace David Price in relief of an extra inning game against Michigan and light hitting Allen Oaks takes him out for the most devastating home run in Vanderbilt baseball history. The Wolverines pulling off a 4-3 upset. Now the two teams meet again in the College World Series Finals. Game one tomorrow night in Omaha at six. Game two Tuesday and if necessary, game three Wednesday. Back in 2007, Tim Corbin and Eric Backage were in the same dugout at Vanderbilt, with Backage helping Corbin lay the foundation to what is now one of the premier baseball programs in America. Backage then left to build his own program at Michigan, but his work at Vandy is not forgotten, nor is the impact of the man he learned under for six years. Vanderbilt's not Vanderbilt without Eric Backage. When people, when uh, Vanderbilt was not an attractive school to come to, he built a recruiting base that stands today, but the David Prices, the Pedro Alvarez's, the David Macias's, the Dominic De Los's, the good players back then, those, those are because of him. Vanderbilt would be the skyscraper it is today because of him and his wife, and I was very fortunate to be a part of that, and what I got from that is a blueprint of how to build something that maybe hasn't done it before. Joined now on the phone by Vanderbilt coach Tim Corbin from Omaha. And Tim, we just heard your comments from the press conference that Vanderbilt baseball wouldn't be Vanderbilt baseball without Eric Backage. But what does he mean to you personally, given all you've been through with him from Clemson to Vanderbilt and now to this stage of the College World Series finals? Well, our time at Clemson and then at Vanderbilt certainly was very important years for both of us as we were growing as coaches. He's really developed from the time that I knew him to, to right now. And our wives and, and, and kids have become very, very close. We're God parents of, of one of his sons. And when we got out here and started playing, it maybe crossed our mind, but it didn't really become a reality that we would play each other until the other day. Well, I know you sprinted over to the ballpark one night this week to congratulate him after one of his wins. I guess if you're ever going to have to square off against a good buddy, the National Championship Series isn't that bad of a place to do it. But how impressed are you by the job he and his team have done with a season that was literally one strike away from being done a month ago? You know what? They remind me a lot of our 2014 team because we, we were kind of like that. We were a good team, as Michigan was, but I don't think they found their playing personality until that moment. And then once they did, they, they, they started to discover who they were. Now they're a very confident, elite team. Michigan's playing great, but so is your team. What can you say about the pitching performances you've gotten in Omaha from your starting pitchers, but also Tyler Brown out of the bullpen? Yeah, that, that really has been the difference maker for us. We've been able to stop the opponent. Drake did it on the first night against Louisville, and then Kumar against Mississippi State, and then certainly the other night, Mason Hickman getting into the seventh inning. But as you mentioned, Tyler Brown, uh, that's our field goal kicker right there. That's the guy who can contain his emotions and adrenaline when it matters most. He's been able to close down games in very hot situations, so we've been very fortunate to have that type of pitching. Still, you needed a rally Friday night against Louisville. What did you see from your guys in the third base coach's box during that ninth inning comeback? Resolve. It was just a team that I loved the talk in the dugout prior to that inning. It was, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And, you know, they were just committed to getting on base. Once J.J. found first base, I had a lot of belief in Ethan Paul. I mean, Ethan Paul's been a very clutch player for us. And I just didn't feel like he was going to get denied this time. And, you know, I played through that moment in my mind before he hit that ball. I, I felt like he's going to shove the ball down in the corner. I'm going to have a decision to make, and it happened. I just wanted to put pressure on the plate, just kept him going, and thank goodness that throw kind of short hop the catcher and J.J. slid in. So that was a big run, but certainly after that, DeMarco's two-strike swing was important too. It drove in a run, and we were able to contain the bottom of the ninth. You win, and now you're in the College World Series Finals for the third time in six years. Tim, what does it say about the program you've been able to build that you could do that? The, the main thing, Steve, is just consistency. I think that when someone asks about a program, that, that's the thing I point to. We've been fortunate enough never to have a drop-off year, and that's very difficult in this conference. And we show up when it matters. And with this team right here, 
They're special because they're mature, and because of that, they put themselves in very consistent situations, and because of that, we've been in good outcomes. And this has just been a very gifted team that way, and we're very thankful for it. You talk a lot about empowering the players. You talk a lot about the process. You mm -hmm. don't talk a lot about winning a national championship, but that is where you sit right now with that opportunity this week. What do you tell the players now before they take the field tomorrow night? The same things we've been talking all along. I mean, I think whether it was winning a regular season title or winning an SEC tournament title or whether it was re winning a regional or super regional, I've never spoken in those tones because that's not our style. It's all about understanding what the opponent is capable of doing. Then it's putting a good game plan together for the offensive players and the pitcher so they can execute it. Nothing changes. It's all about trying to control your emotions and your adrenaline so you can tap into your physical skill sets. And if they can do that, we'll be successful. Well, Tim, I can't wait to get to Omaha or baseball heaven, as we call it sometimes tomorrow yep. for this championship series. Congratulations on the great run so far. Thanks for the time and good luck. I always appreciate you, Steve. Thank you.